Hello, I'm Cameron Williams. Welcome to A Current Affair. It's great to be with you. Sadly, we are losing the war against violence on our city streets. Despite police crackdowns and a national awareness campaign, the message is simply not getting through. Tonight, our cameras capture what really goes on after dark. It's not pretty, and a warning some viewers may find certain images confronting. It's supposed to be the season to celebrate. But in streets right across Australia, this is the violent reality. Visibly intoxicated, the man in the white T-shirt was a man on a mission. Watch as he fights with his friend and then targets anyone else in his path. The reaction from these innocent bystanders who showed incredible self-restraint just says it all. The drunken duo continue their rampage, stumbling down the street in Melbourne's notorious nightclub strip. As the man in the white t-shirt finally prepares to cross the road, he tries to grab a cyclist. And then, as if all of that wasn't bad enough, as we were on the phone to the police, the mayhem reached its peak. This young man is forced to defend himself. Boozed up and texting, all of a sudden he's caught in the rampage. With one king hit, he collapses. As the scuffle continues, it spills onto the street and into the path of oncoming traffic. The punches continue. Then this, a sickening and cowardly kick. He kicked in the head. With the police and an ambulance on the way, the attacker disappears into the darkness. His mate, however, sneaks back to the scene to check that the victim is still breathing. Then he also tries to flee. Mate, you've got to wait for your mate. The victim, dazed and delirious, gets up to walk off. So drunk, he can't even see that he needs a helping hand. Now, I need you to sit down for me so I can get an ambulance to you as quickly as we can, all right? Police soon arrived, sending a car to help the injured man and track down his attacker. Just around the corner, another ferocious fight. Fellas, what was that about? You're on camera already, guys. What was going on there? I saw a break camera. No, mate, what happened? Bro, he just bumped in and started bashing us, alright? What did he do to you? Asked him, security. Once again, alcohol fueled violence. Zada Robertson, how horrible is it to see events like that unfolding? Yeah, it's not the sort of thing people want to get involved with this time of the year. Sergeant Phil Robinson from Victoria Police is fed up by these incidents that can be easily avoided. This sort of thing takes up a lot of uh, our resources that uh, we could be spending on other things. For us it is a frustrating thing. Uh, we're aware that uh, this time of the year people want to be out, they're partying. Our vision will play a crucial role in the police investigation, officers using it to identify the two men involved. See all CBD units, keep a look out for these two African appearance males in 20s, 5, 10 and 6 foot. A result was almost immediate. We believe we might have a couple of suspects uh, down the road, we're just going to head down and uh, speak to them. With police swarming the city, you'd think their presence would be a deterrent. But as our cameraman was filming five officers crossing the street, a young man brazenly hit the camera. Hey, look, look at that. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, your ass. Oh, your ass. He was set upon within seconds and was knocked unconscious in the process. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Why did he stop me? Nah, he's been giving me the hot gun. From Melbourne, 
to Sydney, where reporter Erin Willing discovered that violence isn't the only dangerous effect of binge drinking. No way, seriously, don't touch the camera, don't touch the camera. We're kicking on tonight, so we're going to go home and just keep on going. It's close to midnight in one of Sydney's busiest areas, and this young woman has had a skin fall. Okay. As she slumped in the gutter, a stranger tries to help. Across town, it's a similar story, as intoxicated revellers stumble through the streets. Unable to stand, the party's over for this woman. Drunk and disorientated, the woman is helped to her feet by police. But before long, she's back on the ground. Too drunk to go home, the woman is placed into a police van and taken to a sober up centre. Is it the festive season or the sunny season? It's an all too familiar scene for intensive care paramedic Hamawera Kohu. Often they have no idea where they are. They have no capacity to, to actually fend for themselves if they are completely unconscious because of alcohol. As the night carries on, so too does the bravado. We're going to drive home at like two hours. Are you sure that's a good idea? No, not really. You have people with everything from light contusions to gaping wounds. If somebody is punched to the face, for example, you know, you know their noses are broken, their eyes are, are um, you know, swollen shut. Quite often the jaws um, uh, can, can be, uh, if nothing else, painful. Teeth loosened and jaws broken. And from Sydney to Brisbane, where it was a similar story for reporter Aaron O'Brien. It's not quite 11 p.m. And yet it's clear this punter has had enough. But maybe not clear enough. Watch as he lines up for another bar. Fortunately, security move him on. This woman is spoiling for a fight, but her bark is worse than her bite, and she's let off before punches are thrown. Another reveller refuses to leave without making his point, and these pushy mates look ready to square off. These two guys also look to have celebrated too hard. If only they had a lift home like this guy. Back in Melbourne as clubs closed and taxis became harder to find, police became babysitters left to clean up the streets. This man, Mr Mouthoff, became unhappy that his mate had been arrested for failing to comply with the search and became aggressive. It's all on camera, boys. Yeah, you no, know it's all on camera. This is what Swanson Street Police <laughs> do with every night because they're weak. Mate, mate we give you about 20 mate, chances. 25, right? But you know like what? Day. I don't give a f what you say, mate. I don't care. I don't care. You disrespect my mate. Uh, well, I'm not drunk, mate. Can you breathalyze me? Thankfully, police were left with the last word. Put your head down. Pull your pants up, you Put dog. Put your head down. Yeah, Put your, your head down. down. You're a f***ing maggot, mate. Hello, chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's happening in most cities on most nights, and police around the country will be out in force on New Year's Eve to keep revellers in line.